Hey guys, welcome to Wildwood Studio. I'm Sarah, and in this video, I'm going to be doing a wood burning of a barn owl. For this burning, I didn't start with the background because I knew I didn't want to burn it, and I thought I might want to paint it instead, so I had to leave it until the end, because if you paint first, you risk burning on top of the paint, which you don't really ever want to do because it can be dangerous for you to breathe in. Instead, I started out with the owl's face, which is also something I do a lot because I find it kind of motivates me to want to continue working on a burning once it sort of looks like it's coming to life. I feel like art is always this thing that everybody expects you to only want to do when you're super inspired and that you want to do it just because you love it, but really I find that it's kind of like everything else where sometimes you need a little something to get you motivated, and I find starting with the face just because it shows so much progress all at once, it really helps me feel motivated to continue working on the rest of the burning. Next, I started with the dark feathers on the owl's back. Basically, it was between this and doing the light ones on his chest, so I thought I'd start with the dark ones. The thing about this image that was the most difficult were all the spots on the owl's feathers, which were something that I didn't think it would really be worth the time to try and draw them all on in pencil in advance. So I decided to just sort of eyeball it and make them as close to the photo as possible without having an undersketch under my burning. I think I was relatively successful with that, and while the texture on the feathers didn't turn out perfectly photorealistic, I think I'm still pretty happy with it. This burning is on a basswood plank that still has bark on either side. Because in my last burning I had an issue with the wood grain messing up my shading where I hadn't done enough sanding, I made sure to spend extra time sanding on this one to make it really, really as smooth as possible, and I think it really helped. So I'm gonna try not to cut corners on that step in the future, because sanding is not always the most fun, but the surface you're working on is really important. And this is advice that I see more experienced burners give to newer burners all the time, where they'll ask what's wrong with their shading, and it's actually not really anything wrong with their technique. It's actually just that they could have spent a little bit more time preparing their wood before they started, and that the not completely smooth wood is getting in the way of what would otherwise be perfectly fine shading. So if you want to do some wood burning, make sure that you are sanding enough, and you have your board prepared to be as smooth as possible before you start, because it'll help you a lot. This burning is about 11 by 7 inches, although the shape is a bit irregular uh, because of the more natural piece of wood, so it's a bit wider near the bottom and a bit thinner near the top, and it took me about 4 hours in total to burn. The reference photo for this was taken by my uncle Jim, who is a professional photographer and actually also did all of the photos for my wedding. Once I finished the dark feathers on the owl's back, I did the post that he's sitting on and I also did the owl's feet. I always think that it's kind of funny when I'm burning a wood texture on a piece of wood, but I really liked the way this turned out. I think that it's just a good background element in the photo for him to stand on. The feet were a bit difficult because the rougher skin there has a really interesting texture that I think if I'd wanted it to be perfectly photorealistic, I could have taken quite a long time on it. But I sort of cheated and just shaded the feet with smooth shading and then did some stippling on top to give them a bit of that textured look. Finally, for the burning part of this, I did the owl's chest and the underside of his wings, which were relatively quick because those sections are so light. And once I had shaded them, I went back over and added all the spots in on the feathers at the end. By the time this burning was done, the owl itself was actually quite light in comparison to the background, so I didn't think that it stood out enough. But because of the piece of wood that I'm using, where it still has the bark still intact on the outside, I didn't want to burn the entire background dark. So I decided to paint it instead. I used watercolors to paint this background because it acts more like a stain where it sinks into the wood grain and so you can still sort of see the wood through it and it's not totally opaque. For this, before I actually laid down any color, I used a wet brush with just clear water to wet the areas that I wanted to paint to make sure that I wouldn't get any streaks or spots, which is something that I learned to do when I was learning to do watercolors. I was a bit torn in this one between doing the background blue or doing it green, but in the original photo the owl is sitting in front of some trees, so I went for green and I think it looked pretty good. I also considered doing a bit more texture in the background to look a bit more like trees, but I didn't want the background to overshadow the owl and to stand out too much. And I think that this much paint and this color was enough to create contrast between the owl and the background without taking away from the burning. This is the first time I think that I've done this, but I really like the way that it looks, so let me know what you think, and maybe I'll do some more colored backgrounds in the future if I don't think that the dark background suits what I'm working on. Here's a picture of the finished burning, please let me know what you think in the comments, and if you want to see more of my work, you can check out my Facebook page or follow me on Instagram. Also, please make sure to like this video if you haven't already, and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss all my future art videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.